have Keenan here with the Maros Smart Garage Door Opener with HomeKit support. So I just installed this new Chamberlain Garage Door Opener with MyQ support. Now that works natively with the Tesla app, but I also want to add HomeKit support so I can use it with CarPlay and Apple Watch. Now Chamberlain is going for a closed system. They want to charge for access to the API. So basically, you have to pay for it to use MyQ in the Tesla, or you can use the MyQ app on your phone. There's no other way to access the MyQ system at this point. There were plugins from for Home Assistant and HomeBridge, but those have stopped working. So basically, once you power up the Maros device, you just need to be connected to a strong 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. I have an access point in the garage, an ECW230 and then scan the QR code to add it to HomeKit. Now the toughest part of this install is, is installing the wired door sensor. You have to get the magnet and sensor within one inch of each other. I put it on the left-hand side about midway down the garage door. Test run the door before you screw down the magnet just to make sure it clears everything along the path. Now this is the version of the device that got the MSG 100 HK. This has native HomeKit support. Now you need to check your garage door. If it's the old style that you just need to short the two wires going to the control panel and the door will open or close and this is all you need. You just connect those wires up to the wires come off the white lead on the Moros. But if you have a Chamberlain or some other types of new openers that use a digital signal, you're gonna have to go another step further. Moros will actually send you what amounts to a remote control unit that's gonna have wire inputs that you can use to trigger the door. Or you can do like I did and just use one of the included remotes with your garage door opener and solder the wires onto the terminals. I'll put a link to the video where I show how to do this. Now make sure to secure your sensor wire as well. You're gonna need some wire ties to do that. And then uh, mount up the Morose unit near your garage head unit and plug in the USB power unit. The next thing I did was I added the Moros Cloud API to Home Assistant and it easily found and added the garage door. You could also link it using Apple HomeKit to Home Assistant, but then you wouldn't have a native HomeKit install. You'd be relying that your Home Assistant is up and working to be able to open the garage door. And don't forget, in order for the Apple Home to function, when you're outside the house, you're gonna need a hub, either an Apple iPad or an Apple HomePod inside the house. Now let's test it out in the C8 Corvette. Also add the door to favorites in order for it to show up on the screen and on your Apple Watch. Let's see how fast it opens. There you go, the door opened up right away and the status updated to open as soon as it passed a sensor, which is nice. There is no siren sound when the door opens or closes. There you go, remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.